going on right now. But right now we have Hero and Paul Latina, of course, here being played by VV, Paul Latina played by, play, being played by Utopian Ray. Again, glad to see some more Paulo players coming to the scene again. Absolutely. All right, Utopian Ray getting things set up with the nares. A nice three nair into back air. And uh, caught VV coming down with the side B. VV not in a great spot right now. Good air dodge to the ledge, though. That was a... Uh, that was a tough angle right there. Yeah, Vivi just needs to be careful. I know he has some kind of matchup experience with Palatinum because he plays, uh, you know, Jen is a very popular pop, pop player. However, he has to be careful with uh, with the way that Tobin Ray plays because he actually uses the reflector. And that's such a devastating thing for Hero, especially with Kafriz. The Frizz family line, the Sizzle family line, the Kaboom, the Bang, like all the projectiles are in danger when uh, when Utopian Ray uses that reflector that he, uh, he's he been using a lot recently in these matchups. And now we have a Celerado out. Oh, goodbye, Celerado. Ooh, and that throw. And goodbye, Vivi. Yep. Goodbye, Vivi, taking that first dog away from the, with, a, I believe that was a forward throw? Uh, it was a back throw. Back throw? I didn't quite see. I was just, you know, the stage blends too well with Palutena. With both players, actually. <laughs> That was actually uh, oh, whack. That was actually very interesting. Uh, VV throwing out the snooze from outside of snooze's range. Maybe uh, maybe looking to catch Utopian Ray uh, countering when they didn't need to and looking to capitalize off of that, but wasn't able to get too much off of it. Ooh, not able to connect the kaboom either. Mm. That means Utopian Ray is going to get another down throw. Yeah, Utopian Ray is doing amazing control with, uh, with his spacing, making sure he's a little bit out of range and from hero spells like the snooze. And, uh, and that kaboom, he completely just ev 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 evaded it. Uh, but right now, he's absolutely just devastating Vivi, trying, Vivi trying to get that first lock off Utopian Ray at 132%. And there was like a desperate thwack at the ledge a little bit earlier in the matchup. No MP, not enough to quite do much off the ledge, but to gain that psych up, possibly looking for a psych up up throw. Yep, I told there you. There it Ooh. is. That's a good throw. It's a busted throw. <laughs> it's so aggressive. I love it. It is. He's, he puts some weight behind that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, great up? That timing on that yeah. uh, ledge trunk. That's the second time we've seen Utopian Ray do that. And another bounce on deck. So uh, you mentioned before, actually, mm -hmm. uh, about Palutena's reflector being very crucial in this matchup. Do you mm -hmm. think uh, Vivi puts up bounce to kind of uh, mitigate that, sort of a, a so counter reflector? The 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 problem is that if Vivi were to throw something out and it reflects onto Paulo's reflector and then back onto bounce, it will only get stronger and it will likely hit Utopian Ray, which. That might be what he's thinking about because uh, when you have bounce on, he's likely not going to use the reflector as much because that that uh, that danger zone. Mm -hmm. That being said, though, you know Vivi's been at a fairly low MP for most of the match, not able to get uh, too much of the Frizz family out. Yeah, and he and uh, you know the Frizz family, of course, uses a, a good like Frizz itself uses 36 MP, and he's been staying at consistent 20-ish percent. But really, you don't really need too much MP. As long as you have at least 18 to recover with just Kaswoosh, you'll be okay, honestly. Or if you have, you know, 5 for Zoom, that works too. You know, that's fine. <laughs> that's a deal right there. Straight up. You can either do 18 for Kaswoosh or 5 for a, for a Zoom. You know, take your pick. It's a gamble with this, with this character and that, that little, that little itty-bitty fizz uh, frizz. But right now, we're actually seeing Vivi in the lead, which we haven't uh, seen thus far. Ooh, uh, the... Uh, he, yeah, he caught the jump. He actually had Zoom at the very end, and he didn't get it because he was right in the blast zone. That's really unfortunate. Bro, just read faster. No. <laughs> <laughs> that Zap will not really going to do much if, uh, you know, Hudson out here, you know, shooting it. But this game already became pretty much even. Uh, both players at one stock. Both players are around 40%, 44, 48%. Yeah, I don't actually know about the kaboom, that kaboom right there, uh, because you know Palutena was uh, jumping off of that left PS2 platform there, and that's a sizable amount of MP to waste on a kaboom on the other side of the stage. Mm -hmm. Kaboom is like a, if you see it, you gotta press it. You know, it's a very, it's very much a hail mary kind of move, and it can definitely make or break a situation. But uh, no, I know Vivi's gonna be one going for those, uh, those buffs like Psych Up and Oomph, more specifically Psycho, because it's just, it's just better. Okay, it's just better. 18 MP to get uh, back on stage. Great pair in that back air, and uh, Zutomi Ray definitely trying to rack up more percentage on Hero or Vivi in order to make it a little more even. It might do with it. Yep, a little okay. more even right now. Yeah, if they're gonna put Vivi back off stage, fights his way off with the forward air. <laughs> I was so sad I wanted to connect. Why'd you gotta block it? 
I just like to see mayhem happen. I just, I just I'd love to see. Yup, and that uh, jumping fair is gonna take it. Yep, caught uh, caught Utopian Reigns jump. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling that he brought out that menu specifically to bait out Palutena or bait out Utopian Ray from uh from rolling in or neutral getting up and making him jump, and that's a good read. So yeah, when when heroes put their menu, it's not always to you know mess up your day with kaboom. Sometimes <laughs> they just do it to bait you to moving, and it, it worked clearly this time. Right, and I mean that was something that um, I think kind of came up around the time that Hero came out mm -hmm. when people were kind of you know complaining on Twitter about stuff like, oh he's got mm -hmm. too many moves, how are we supposed to react to any of this? But you know when Hero pulls out that menu, a lot of his options or a lot of his projectile options cover that same sort of area, uh, you know, just horizontally. Yeah, there's basically no moves of hero in that menu that go uh, vertically. Unless you want to count Kazap, which has like the long horizontal electricity and the one on top. But besides that, most of hero's moves are in fact vertical. So using that menu specifically to make sure that uh, you bait between Ray into jumping rather than neutral getting up is very smart on BB's end. But right now, VB at 93% with three stocks, so Utopian Ray at 11%. A very similar situation, uh, a very similar start to the first game. Yeah, and like you were saying, you know, VB just hasn't been able to get too much started though. Right there, no, not even with Accelerado. Ooh, risky dash attack, but Utopian Rain not able to find the punish. Was it was maybe a little bit of a um, a tricky cross up. Yeah, Vivi is just not able to get any of these moves. He tried doing a bang, he tried doing a snooze. Utopian Rain is either just blocking it or pairing it, pairing out of it, and it's very great on his end to make sure he's not getting hit with those projectiles that Hero is so well known for, and quite frankly hated for. <laughs> Ooh, no MP on the deck. Just able to get the first mm -hmm. level swoosh out. <laughs> Tries for the Crackle Slash. Not crackle Slash is such a... It's a good move! I just wish it connected more easily because it's, it's like one frame slower than Flame Slash. But it's just a situational kind of situ uh, situational move to use. You have to pull it out and make sure the opponent is next to you to get frozen. Uh, you know, like Sora. Alright, VB is buffed up now. The Psych Up F-Tilt can put Utopian Ray off stage. This is looking a lot more like an even game uh, with Utopian Ray not able to uh, you know, to get that first stock off of Vivi. Vivi's been able to you know find those buffs that he likes so much and racking up damage right now. Utopian Ray already above 100% back air, almost taking it. He's got Psych Up on deck right now. Not going to be able to use it though. Yeah, that's going to take in that 162 percent. He's take. got another one though. Psycho or Oomph, just, they always come out, they have to, and again, that up till, uh, but it's just not gonna connect quite, or, or take that first off quite yet, but THWACK! No, okay. <laughs> I'm just so excited. I appreciate VB going for THWACK so much. I'm glad, I, it's just a fun move to use, not for the other person, of course, it's just funny to watch and commentate over, because it's just like, oh my god, DLC move. <laughs> it, <laughs> he loves to see it. It hurts being on the receiving end of it, but otherwise, it's, it's certainly a crowd pleaser, I think. It definitely is. Most of Heroes moves are just such goofy little, like, you know, makes everyone jump out of their seat, like, bro, what? <laughs> but right now, the Utopian Ray getting a clean 50% on for VB, 64% with those up airs, and just missing the last one, or. Oh, great was... dodge from VB from that explosive flame, because that might have really just been a little bit too much percentage taking on. A little bit. Bounce back on deck. Hasn't been doing. A whole lot for Vivi so mm -hmm. far this set. He's probably expecting those. Uh, I believe it's her her regular uh, special to to reflect back off of her, but she hasn't been using them, or Utopian Ray really hasn't been using them at all. Here we're just thinking, use that frizz, using bounce again, might not really be doing much because Utopian Ray has just been using mostly uh, melee attacks for Palu, getting that down so into uh, back air. Wow, he actually got the zoom right there. Vivi opted to go for oomph off stage, which I thought was real risky, but he was, you know, he was able to zoom. Yeah, because he had Psych Up and I believe at the time. Oh, <laughs> trying to go for Gazap, but not quite enough MP. You know that's like 40 MP, bro. That's expensive. It's very expensive. And it, it's it's a very high risk move. Rarely, rarely ever like heroes use it in, uh, in bracket. But if you have 100 MP, screw it. Go ahead. Yeah, why not? But we have like 36, no. Just barely singed the top of uh, Palutena's hair there. I'm literally surprised that the edge of Thwack didn't register on Palutena. I know, that's a huge hitbox. It's devastating. It has this awful sound. It sounds so... Oh, just barely missing the upper, but getting that up to... I think it was up to... I, I didn't quite tell. I was just so excited that, you know, there was... Uh, Palu completely missed the up air. 
and Hero just uh, just returned it with his own uh, with his own stock taker. But now they both have one one stock, so you know, that's cool. I know. Speaking of huge hitboxes, I'm so surprised that Utopian Ray's up air did not catch Vivi there. But yeah, me too. Vivi was able to get it or get that up tilt right after. But right, you know. What we've been seeing so far, Utopian Ray has been excelling at these lower percentages, getting VB to these real high percentages. But you know, it all comes down to Utopian Ray's ability to take the stock. Because you know, you can get VB to 160 all you want, but if you're not able to take that stock, well, oh, that was a little bit of an odd scramble situation. Yeah, it was a very weird dash attack into like the, his uh, tilt attacks. <gasps> Finally landing the boom. Not quite giving enough to take the stock though, but that backer certainly will. There it is. Vivi with a hard fought 2 0 victory. Mm -hmm. Definitely hard fought. That was crazy. I'm I'm still I'm still on the on, on Palu's up air missing. I'm 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 absolutely like shocked by that. Like right here. What? Ow. There's no way. <laughs> no, this game is a joke! No, as as much as I love Hero, I you know. I, you know, I always go for heroes. Cause I'm a hero main. That is, you should have died there, buddy, Busty, be Busty, Busty. Mm. You should have died there, like easily. <laughs> like, there's just no way. Literally, slid by each other. Vivi, Vivi paid five ninety nine to not get hit by that up air. <laughs> for five ninety nine, you too can just not get attacked. <laughs> like, look, it's literally touching. Ooh. It's literally touching. Look, it's touching. It's touching him. <laughs> it's touching him. There's just no way. There's just no way. There's no way. This game is a joke. This game is so funny. Sakurai, I'm going to send this exact clip to you. What's your address, bro? <laughs> What's your physical address? What's your physical? I'm going to put it on like a CD and literally send it to you, burning bro. This, burning this match to a VHS. You know what? You know why it didn't connect? Because <laughs> Hero's hand isn't a hitbox. Oh my god! No, I'm being for real. Hero's hand is not a hitbox. His grab is shorter than his arm than his hand. <laughs> That's crazy. You know what? I always complain about Hero's grab being like shorter than his hand. But you know what? That one